Okay, you're being recorded. Good. So, Good um, job. Going back to this Broodmare Sire list, uh, what I'm going to do is click on, you won't see this on your own uh, version because you have a trial version that's, and it doesn't have all the features. Yes, I okay. can. It also doesn't have an up-to-date database. You mentioned that uh, there, you thought there was a horse missing. It was actually in the database, but not in the trial version. Right. Mm -hmm. Here are the profiles. And what this does, here's balanced image. His uh, maternal lines are noble uh, gesture and speedster. Yes. And uh, be a magician, second dam was speedy crown line or a speedster line. Yes. And if you look down through here, there's only a handful that aren't speedster line second dams and his best ones. Yep. You see, that's a uh, key again. It's, uh, the, the, the the best um, and when when, when they aren't uh, there the, there's uh, Super Bowl 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 eh? so the best uh, balanced image mares are either have speedster or Super Bowl line dams second dams but and uh, let's go back to the performance line here. I'll show you what the, the ones in Australia are. I, I can uh, go, you know, when I get a, a report like this, I can go over here to the origin line and I can filter it for any particular country, Sweden, yep. America. Yep. I'll use that, yeah. Filter it to exclude it. So if I exclude it, I end up here with the and Z ones, and I'll filter by selection. And these are all the Australian New Zealand horses that are out of balanced image mares. And of course, like a Calder and Calder image are the, uh, are the principal ones. Yep. And uh, I, I, 80% are from the same family here, Norm. So that Calder, that Calder line are all interrelated. Uh, um, they're, all, they're all sort of, uh, they've got the, the, the genes in relations there. With the colder. Anyway, uh, the weird one on top is by Metropolitan, who's a pacing sire. Mm. And uh, I think he only shows one other trot out of all of his production, other than this one. And it's uh, by out of an Ohio bred mare. It's in Ohio somewhere. So <clears throat> that's the only trotter that Metropolitan ever had of any consequence. They have one, here's one here that's a, I don't like, like a collar too, but it's paced apparently according to this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so the, that's a freak situation. It's, it's a once in a millennium deal. You know, Doesn't happen. You're never going to replicate it. Yeah. So the next best one here is by Ganymede. It's getting called. Yes. And if you look at him. Uh, I, I have a, I own this mare. I own half this mare. It's getting colder. This is the mare that I have. So as you can see, it's a speedster line sire, mm -hmm. which is basically what works with balanced image mares, especially balanced image mares that are inbred to the speedster line. Mm -hmm. This is a very special pattern. I call it the TB pattern. You may have read about it already. Yeah, yeah. And it's quite the, uh, it's common, it's common to a certain extent in the very best trotters. And uh, many, many of the great ones currently show this pattern. Usually the ones who the muscle, uh, muscle Yankee, muscle Hill and muscle Hill sons are basically that's what they lean on. Uh, the same thing happens with Cantab Hall and and, uh, and his sons, uh, Father Patrick, and all those guys, you know, they're, they're all leaning on the same kind of mares, these ones that are inbred to speedster. Generally speaking, though, it's a more modern version. It's, it would be Speedy Crown, Speedy Crown, or Noble Victory, or I'm sorry, Valley Victory, Valley Victory, or Valley Victory, Speedy Crown combinations here uh, that they're inbred to. So that's, uh, and that's part of the problem with a balanced image mare, especially this particular mare is that the speedster connection in the SARS that are currently there is off the page. 
Yeah. So it's losing the, uh, the 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 value of that TV pattern when you when it drops off the page like that. Uh, these mares are getting older, and they're and they're you're trying to breed them to sires that are a generation later, for the most part, and sometimes more. So mm. it's going to be difficult to find uh, stallions. Uh, that will work with uh, mares like this, unless you have a stallion that has speedy, as, 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 at the very mi minimum, speedy crown showing along the top line. But th those are the kind that I will look for. Mm -hmm. Speedy crown. So at, at the very minimum, we're looking for speedy crown. A speedy um, crown not... line with speedy crown on the top line showing somewhere. Yep. Uh, and, you know, it could be Valley Victory or. Um, but it's a lot of a lot of the speedy crown line ones now are like five generations away from speedy crown. Yeah, mm, far, so, fairway back, and, and that's seven generations away from speedster. So this mm. pedigree is losing its connections to uh, the modern sires. Yes, that doesn't mean there's not some there, there, there aren't any out there. Yep. Um, so. So, so Norman, what you're saying there, obviously because Speedster is so old, uh, your preference would be to have Speedster not so far back, but the likeliness is very, very slim. The next best step would be Speedy Crown as, as the next best option. Now, when you're looking at, uh, let me look at the uh, classic connection you were asking about. Let's just see what that looks like. We're going to do a hypothetical. Yep. Over here, we're going to type in classic connection. And this is a this is a love you son. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a Peter Scott line. It's not a Speedster line because Speedster comes uh, goes back to Speedy Scott in a different direction. Uh, but it is a Speedster line. A Speedy, uh, I'm sorry, a Peter Scott line. But here's what you would find the breeding to. This is it's getting called. You wanted called Remish, didn't you? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So this is uh, this is the this is the, the pedigree you're looking at. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite good because uh, of the uh, combinations that are in the maternal lines of the classic connection. Although this is a remote Peter Scott line, there's another pattern that uh, you see in pedigrees. Uh, where you get multiple doubles across the pedigree. And here you have, of course, Noble Victory, Speedster, and Speedster. And you have Noble Victory, Speedster, and Speedster here. Uh, and another Noble Victory line up here. So this is uh, like about a 85%, uh, what you call a double-double match. It's very mm -hmm. close to it. So it has a lot, yeah. of, a lot going for it because it is, you do have the inbreeding to balanced image. Mm -hmm. If that turns out to be a filly, that could be significant. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there is some positives in that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had a look at the Sons of Love You to mm -hmm. see what they're doing with Noble Victory Line dams, if anything. Uh, so far, the percentage of success is not very high. There's an awful lot of them. <laughs> there are 7,276 offspring of the sons of Love You. Wow. Uh, mm. But only 251 of them have made any amount of money. Okay. And like 100,000 or more. Yeah, wow. And that's 3.5%. Mm. Now, love you, son, love you, sons. Is that what you said? They know, love yeah, you, sons. Sons of love you. 
Uh, the ones that I've uh, that were successful, it's interesting. Um, and basically, three sires uh, that have produced seven of the, seven of those two hundred and fifty one are out of balanced image mares that have speedster line dams. Okay. There are seven of them. Okay. I'll, I'll show you them all and then you can get yeah. an idea. Yeah, that's, that's good. There's uh, Ilya, the best one is called Ilya Mip. I'll find it another way here. I'm going to go to um, the next one on the list. Easy to spell that one. This uh, this one's by Royal Dream, who happens to have three good ones. Uh, they're out of uh, out of mares that are Noble Victory line with a Speedster line. Um, second dam. And of course, this is a noble victory. Of course, it also has the speedster dam. So this is a very mm. similar pattern to your mare. Yeah. Victory, speedster, speedster. And then there's a, the Giosco line down here, a Javari line down here in France, which which is a, that is not a North American line. It's a it's an old English uh, um, coach horse line. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, there's no North American blood along that line at all. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, and here, of course, uh, this is this is this was a filly, and she benefited greatly, of course, having a double of Nesmil across the pedigree and mm -hmm. X factor position. Uh, Nesmil is was was a great mare, uh, has been a great mare, mother of Boverty, and definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and if you go back through here, you'll find all kinds of nice X factor connections to uh, North mm -hmm. America or, or, or old English uh, sources, anyway. So that, and of course, there's and Arafan across the pedigree here and, and as well. And so this is a, a good mix, a, a mm -hmm. nice cross. So that was Dream Life, and you see, he's a he's he's Speedy Crown and a French line. Eternally. Um, then there's uh, early dream will be much the same. Love you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think this is early yes. dream. Uh, much the same again. So Similar. Similar. The dam is inbred to speedy. Speedy crown. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no Nesmiel. There's um, Nesmiel's up inside that pedigree here now. But I'm just going to do the cross, the doubles across the pedigree here. You see, and uh, Arafat sticks out again from Love You. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's the Speedy Crown and the three Speedy Crowns. Mm -hmm. down here. Yeah. And another speedy crown here. So this is like three quarters of a double double. Uh, the odd man out again is this French line here, but, but it's a strong cross. Uh, produced 148,000 euro winner. Now, here's uh, here's the interesting one, Gordon Flash. Gordon Flash is by Village Mystic. There's actually one in uh, New Zealand by Village Mystic, and it's unraced. Uh, that's uh, uh, that I found. But uh, anyway, this is uh, again. This is out of a mare that's inbred to and Arafat. So there's a there's a definite pattern to the success of Love You Sons. Uh, with respect to uh, the mayors, uh, no victory line mayors, 
Mm -hmm. They're all through, primarily through and Arafat. Aren't they? Yeah. And and Arafat connection here. Mm -hmm. um, and again, here's the Peter Scott line here, inbred in the mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, follow dream. And here's one famous quality. A little extra character in there. <laughs> so famous quality uh, again. Yeah, again. Yes. Out of password mirror and our fan across. And again, here's the inbreeding of the speedy crown, and another Peter Scott line met early. So pretty common. Uh, uh, pattern for sons of love you with uh, noble victory line sars. There's none that are, of course, out of balanced image lines, so it's not a direct comparison, but it's just a, shows you similar that mares that yeah. have similar combinations to your mare do actually succeed with sons of love you to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so there is some possibility of the breeding to that. Uh, bringing to that Classic connection, time. okay, it's okay, probably worthwhile trying. Uh, the other one you were looking at is Father Patrick. Mm. And if you look at the best ones by Father Patrick, you will find that the majority of them have an oval victory line maternally. And he also is, because he's a son of Cantab Hall, he does the same thing as Cantab Hall does. He favors mares that are inbred to the speedster line, just like this. This is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the kind of odd man out here is this line down here for Tar Heel. It doesn't factor into the pedigree at all. But it's it's just an awkward thing. See a lot in it. I see a lot of that. Of course, in Australia and New Zealand mares, you you have mixtures of uh, pacing and pa pacing. Yeah, this, the, the, that bottom that bottom section is pacing there. Uh, that yeah. power uh, heel. Oh, mm. Stuff here. Yeah. So, oh, Light Brigade had some trotters as well. And okay. It would, okay. And it would be probably some trotting blood maternally here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all mixed up in the old days. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, this particular pedigree shows nothing in close. It's what no. I'm telling you about. Mm. There's no the speedster and speedy crown is off the page, and there's nothing in close. No. Uh, we can go and have a look um, at the Golden Cross with Father Patrick. Oops, need a scene for the moment. That's it. Golden cross. Mm -hmm. And the balanced image. So we're going to search and see how many no data found. It's never, never been, there's never been a balanced image mayor bred to Father Patrick. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Yeah, well, they're, they're Pretty long in the tooth over here, most of them. And yeah. Probably yeah. wouldn't get into the book at all with Father Patrick, even if you had the yeah. money to get, get in there. I mean, they're pretty we can we, we can get in get into him uh, here, um, Norman. We can yeah. we can get in because we're yeah. putting that. Um, it's getting colder. It's getting colder. The daughter of colder image. We're going to Father Patrick this season. So we're we're um that's that's the path we're taking. With it's getting colder. She's going to go to Father Patrick is what we're thinking anyway. Unless you, unless you can see something that's uh, not right there. <clears throat> this one, yeah, this one's all a one word, this one, this man, she's a one word.
you probably are running into here, of course, is uh, this mirror is not inbred to the speedster line. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you the. Um, Sar profile. Mm -hmm. Pat, father. Pat. Yeah. So, if you look at the ones that are. Noble Victory Line, green ones. There's one, two, three, four, five of them on the in the top twenty. This one is inbred to Speedster through well, Speedy Crown and Out of Victory. This one's inbred to Speedster. This is a, a Speedy Crown line. This is uh, Arnie Almer's line. Uh, this one here is inbred to the Speedster line, who sons of Out of Victory. This one here is inbred to the speedster line, double inbred to the speedster line. And this one here is inbred to the speedster line. So you get the picture, eh? Mm. That if you're going to go, if you want to breed your Father Patrick and you've got a noble victory line mare, such as you've got here, no, it, it's getting called her as a Ganymede. Hold on. Correct. That's a speedster line. Okay, so it's different. But uh, again, what, if you're looking at speedster line dams, there's all kinds of them here. They're all Valley Victory or Sons of Valley Victory, aren't they? From Father Patrick's side of things, yes. Is that, is, yeah. I don't know what Ganymede's, let's have a look and see what Ganymede's been doing. See where he's going. Mm -hmm. I'll do the same position on Ganymede here, or I can go up here and do it. A broodmare sire might, might be faster. I want to do a broodmare sire mm -hmm. profile here. I'll do a, a list first. Mm -hmm. This is the city's going Takes a few seconds, with quite a few of them mm. in here. So. Sure. But uh, again, you'll find the Ganymede primarily has been bred to French like French sire line. Yeah. Easy. Cool. There aren't very many Ganymedes out there in the, outside of France. Yeah. Well, he did. You know, he was, he was. He did have some decent ones in Sweden and so forth. He, but, he, he was he was a respectable stallion, um, Norman Ganymede. Well, I think uh, no overpowering by any means, but he was respectful. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, if you look at his, uh, his Broodmare Sire credits, he's got 2,358 of them. Mm. Only 91 good ones. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Mm. 0.8%. And these are all primarily French. Yeah, of course. If you take the French out of there, what's interesting, Oh, it's worse. When you're, it's French dominated. French yeah. dominated, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, certainly. And uh, <clears throat> and if you do the profile of these ones, of the non French ones, mm -hmm. here's mm. Scanymede. Yep. His, uh, the second and third ones are Noble Victories. Has Super Bowl combinations, mares that are that are Noble Victory Super Bowl. Yep. Uh, your Noble Victory speedster. Oh, where's that? <laughs> I'm here. There. there it is. Oh, that's it. No, not it. I, maybe I clicked out of it, did I? Yeah, sure. Unless it's hiding in the background there. There it is. There we go. Okay. 
And another one down here is Noble Victory Star Sprite too, or the, the blue is Star Sprite or, or Super Bowl usually. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's one here. And tell up. She's a, looks like an Italian there. This is about Daggett Rapide, mind you. Ganymede mare that is similar to yours in, 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 in line mm -hmm. formation, being a Global Victory speed, Speedster here, and Ganymede on top. This particular one uh, has a connection, of course, to Speedy Crown across the pedigree here. Mm -hmm. um, Of course, a double speedy crown here. And another speedy crown up here. And uh, this is a Volamite line, a Peter Volo line through Harland here as well. So there's a fair bit of common <coughs> elements in the maternal lines here. For this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, <coughs> you know, 47,000 hmm. euros. Not an old horse in saying that. It's relatively 2016 uh, fold. Five year old, four year old, five year old. What else you had here? Mm. Yeah, the one that was used in youngster, that one, yeah, youngster. Um, so there's not a whole lot of uh, track record in when you're dealing with French. Getting made, getting made. Mares mm. like mares like that. Yeah. And very yeah. difficult to replicate what's been good too. I mean, mm. even at that, there's another one down here. And again, it's a, it's a uh, Italian one. This is Speedy Crown. Uh, that was Candy Mead and Speedy Crown, what an old victory, victory song. So this is very. Strongly doubled up here, quick song, quick song, speedy crown, speedy crown. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a nice, it's a nice basic, uh, uh, it's line bred to speedy crown, it's, uh, you know, with, uh, you can get away with, I guess, but because uh, <clears throat> it's three by four, it's four by five, yeah, but then. But uh, let's say not a whole lot of, Statistical evidence to back up Ganymede. Ganymede mares generally, and Father Patrick in specific, specifically. Mm, no, for sure. Yeah. It's just difficult. Uh, it's very much a roll of the dice when you have mares that are mixed blood like this. Mm. Only if there's a lot of maternal French blood here in the sire. Um, this one worked uh, primarily because of this, because it was a speedster line and it was inbred to the speedster down here. That was the key to success for this particular mare. The speedster on both top and bottom. Yeah, speedster, speedster on the top, and a mare inbred to speedster, or it could, yeah. mm -hmm. or it could be star sprite line here and a mare inbred to star sprite. Mm -hmm. you do that all the time, and that's that's a, a strong pattern. That, uh, I'll show you where it comes from. I'll show you the very mm -hmm. the stars pride side. Now I'll show you the speedster, first one I ever came across, mm -hmm. which made me think that I could never figure out this mare. Wow, money money maker. Yeah, that's a horse. Speedster, inbred to speedster. Yeah. And then I started looking for that in, in, in top horses and I was amazed to find it. Primarily in trotters, but there, it also happens in pacers. Here's a, mm. one of relatively uh, recent. Um, And this particular pattern is showing up a lot in Pacers now with Abercrombie. Wow. 
Abercrombie, Abercrombie. Yeah. Abercrombie, sire, line inbred with the two Amer, inbred mm -hmm. Abercrombie. A very mm -hmm. strong pattern in pacers as well now. They're show, it's showing a lot more. In, in, in that particular order there, Norman, so where Abercrombie on top, and then when Abercrombie's on the bottom, it's the it's the sire of the dams, the dam of the um of the stallion. Yeah. So that that particular Sire's, combination. Broodmare sire's dam and uh, the uh, the second uh, second dam sire line. Usually you see it in the middle. Sometimes you'll see it this way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll see it this way. For instance, right. if you if you look at uh, this one here. Uh, Fastest two year old filly ever. You'll see it's down here. The Adios, this is Adios, Adios here. And there's the Adios line up here. So, silent majority, silent majority. This is Adios. It's uh, perhaps not as strong as you might expect, but it, it's mm -hmm. the only thing to me that, that, uh, that, um, makes this thing work. It's amazing that that's a fair way back to Norman and this, this, this horse looks like a freak of a horse. And you know, you, you sort of one, two, three, we, we're talking, you know, four, four or five dams, four, four or five generations back. Yeah. It doesn't have to be doubled up real close. I mean, I like to see it in the third and fourth generation crosses maternally here. Yeah. No nukes, no nukes, no nukes here. Mm. But uh, the key here is this for this particular individual, and the no nukes is a bonus. You know, the, the, the double yeah. nukes in the fourth generation oh, yeah. is a bonus. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Another thing that uh, I like to look at here, of course, it's not a factor here, is the X factor situation in a, in a particular there. Um, you won't see it so much in older ones and in money makers case uh, she doubles kathleen and aniska across the pedigree mm -hmm. here in the in nance catch and uh, so that's comes right from the maternal line down here mm -hmm. so you look for that sort of thing in in individuals and of course when you're into a situation like uh, it's getting colder, you're into French maternal bloodlines. Every now and then, there's a there's a, a maternal line in here. Here's the maternal line of Kathleen on the maternal line of of this. Uh, you go back through her maternal line. There's actually some. There it is, Jane, Jane Hunt, Kathleen. Okay. That. Um, where how it got in there. This Winnie de Forest was obviously exported to France in, in the early 1900s. That was at a time when France was importing a lot of uh, uh, tonic mares. Mm -hmm. So it, it has the, uh, the Kathleen X factor in it. Okay. So it's interesting. And of course, Carl Rimmage has it as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> inbred to it through balanced image it always just gets it through balanced image maternal line of it balanced image i like to see it doubled up in the mare in order to get a good connection with the sire but uh, that's just an aspect of looking at pedigrees it's kind of important uh, if you're looking at buying uh, for instance fillies in particular you like to see them doubled up across the pedigree to the to the to the most important the X factor sources like this M two is Margaret Parish. Mm -hmm. If you see A two in a pedigree, that's Helen Hanover in in in, in, in Pacers. Mm -hmm. So you like to see them doubled up across the pedigree and uh, from the sire to the, the broodmare sire uh, when it's a filly. And you like to see colts that are outer mares that are doubled up on those individuals too. So the, I, the M, M2, okay, the Margaret Parish, and then the page, for the page two for Helen Hanover for yeah, the pages. Yeah. Okay. And okay. You, uh, if you go through the top individuals in any one year, 
Um, Francis, let me see. So let's see, I think a look at two or three of the good ones um, this year already in North America. Uh, I've got them up pretty much up to date, the, the two year olds that are racing right now. Mm -hmm. um, the, there's an update of both the program and the, and the database available to download, but you can't download it until you're signed up. Of course. Amanda, yep. Mm -hmm. But um, bring them up here. And just, it's always it's good research to look at the best ones and see what you see, see what you can see, mm -hmm. and try to get a feel for the yeah. patterns that work. Mm -hmm. It's patterns and percentages and in your favor, yeah. Performance mm -hmm. in the pedigree that count. You know, those are the three important things to look for. And if you can't find all three in a pedigree, then it really it's pointless to pursue it as far as a broodmare or, or buying it uh, as a yeah. potential racehorse, because those are the three most important things that you look for. So it's taking a little longer than I thought. Of course, mm -hmm. there's a lot of it. Oh, I uh, so, so, so Norm, you're, you're, I, I should have cleared that. I, I should have put it in for North America. Now it's doing the whole world. Ah, of course, yeah. Got gotcha. that started now. So, Norm, so what you're saying is, um, for for colder image, preferably we're looking for a a speedster line. Um, speedster line, that, sir. Yeah. 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 Speedster line, sir. So, so I, I can have a bit of a more of a deep deep look. What if there's anything else available? But as a, as an option, classic connection would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, technically, it is the same sire line. It goes back to Peter Scott. Yep. Uh, and it does have good maternal connections, especially that double X factor, double the balanced image, which mm -hmm. is, uh, which is the. Uh, it just caught my eye. Yeah, that balanced image caught my eye. Part of classic connection. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of horses out there born in 2019. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> These are all North American ones. We'll cut them down to them. Yeah. They're just getting the going here, but there's some got a bit of money made already. These are all two year olds, uh, Totters and Pacers. Let's see what this fellow's got here. This is Chulo. And by what the hell? He's a, he's, he's looks like he's a look at this. Oh, wow. Inbred to yeah. a full sister and brother. There's a full sibling cross across this pedigree. Yes, yes, majestic son and Katie Chacha, brother and sister. Yeah. Mm. And of course, being a son of Muscle Hill, you expect to see what Muscle Hill did, and that's breed best the mares that are inbred to Speedy Crown. And down here, what do you have? Speedy Crown. Speedy Crown line and another Speedy Crown. Mm. This is the mayor that's double and bred to Speedy Crown, bred to a son of Muscle Hill. That's his preferred pattern right there. And so it's, there's very good reason for this to be a good, mm. good uh, offspring. And as you can see here, this is, uh, no, there's nothing particular, it's a fairly full. Uh, there's no a double across here of uh, Margaret Paris. There's Margaret Paris in, in here. I mean, if this had been a filly, wouldn't necessarily have helped her because what the hell doesn't have Margaret Paris in him? So he's not going to okay. be, he's not be going, to, going to produce fillies that uh, good fillies as a result of Margaret Paris. That's not going to be the, the factor. But mm -hmm. uh, his main element is going to be that TV pattern, I would suspect. And close crosses across the pedigree here, like this too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this red stuff is all X factor double. So, mm -hmm. when you say X factor double, can you just run that by me? Sorry, Norman. The X factor double, the X factor particularly. Well, the X factor is a is a uh, an inherited trait that's been written about uh, that uh, the mares will pass along. Um. Uh, the origins of the X factor have been 
uh, second guessed several times. Uh, there was a book on it written by Mariana Hahn, which uh, takes it part of the way uh, back to a mayor, a thoroughbred mayor called Pocahontas. But Pocahontas herself, when you look at her, take, uh, it goes back behind her a fair ways. And in fact, the most sig significant individual in the uh, I'll do it up here. And we're going back a ways in, in history. I hope I got the right Pocahontas here. <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, maybe it's this one. Oh. No. Is a popular name. It must be. On that same era too. Um, we tried that one. No, they tried to. Oh, it's earlier. Okay. We tried those. We didn't do the oldest one here. There she is. Okay. And you can see that um, what what what's doubled up here in the in the dam of Pocahontas is this horse called Whiskey, but yes. also the two best daughters of Diomed. Mm -hmm. and if I show the codes on here, oh, it doesn't show up. Okay, the, um, the Diomed here is the to me is the key to the X factor traces that show up in uh, North America. He's in mm -hmm. back of uh, Margaret Parish and Helen Hanover and Oniska and Adieu and all these important so-called X factor mares, all trace back to Diomed on, okay. the, on the maternal lines. And Diomed, of course, goes back to the ultimate source of the, the X factor, which is uh, well, Betty Leeds here is, and Betty Leeds maternally, flying childers, flying childers, these are X Factor. And, yeah. and, this, and this particular mayor ultimately goes back to the, the mother of all, uh, the Spanker mayor. Okay. See this, yeah. this, this, this yeah, the double banker mayor has been written about uh, a fair bit, and there was actually a book written by an Australian co author called uh, uh, to do with the maternal lines, and he wrote a whole chapter on on uh, the spanker mayor. And what is was significant about the spanker mayor was she was the uh, uh, this, uh, this old Morocco mare bred to one of her sons. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> and that's a legitimate pedigree, apparently. It's a, in the original mm. Mm. thoroughbred pedigree. So the theory of the X factor is that it's something that has been, it's a, it's a genetic a variation that's been produced through close inbreeding. Yeah. And so you can't get any closer than a mare being bred to her son. Thank you, mayor. That's the so that's, you get. To me, is the origin of it, and, and you can trace it through both thoroughbreds, of course, much more so through uh, through Pocahontas. Pocahontas has three sons uh, that are all the way through the maternal lines of some of the very best thoroughbreds in the world, all everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's, it validates that, uh, I think, considerably. Uh, Stockwell, Rataplan, and uh, King Tom. And if you look at, you can go back to any of the top thoroughbreds and you will find maternal connections to those three guys, one or okay. other. Or to this mm -hmm. mayor, Oracaria and, uh, or, or, and Oracula, they're all very significant too in, in mm -hmm. the lines of thoroughbred. So, okay. that's, that's a good. whole other field of study. You can read up on it in, uh, in my book, Queen Among Queens.
I must get that, yes. Uh, there's a whole chapter on the X Factor in there and it tells you all about the history of that. Okay. And some people lean on that when they're making their selections and do very well. Others lean on it in, in much different ways. Uh, better be matching the different ways you can look at it. For instance, uh, people, a lot of people who would get, get very excited about just what we saw here, uh, similar mm. crosses. Uh, yeah. That they will buy horses with sibling crosses just because it's a sibling cross. They think it's a good thing. Well, it is. Mm -hmm. In this case, it is a good thing. It's not necessarily always a good thing, but there's certainly nothing wrong with uh, having that approach. It certainly cuts down your uh, possibilities of uh, the, which ones you want to pick on. And it does work. This the next this this sea silk is something else. Fifty one and three is a two year old. Wow. You're all just there. Sea silk, amazing. It's got pacing stallion. Oh, this is the pace of this one. This is there down by the seaside. It's first crop. Yeah. Out of a better than light mare. Mm. So if you've got a better than light mare down there, you want to have a serious look at down by the seaside, obviously. But mm. look, look at the combinations across the pedigree here. Camfella, Camfella, and Western Hanover, Camfella, Western Hanover. This is the Camphill Western Hanover, Camphill Western Hanover, double across the pedigree here. Yes. So that's uh, a, a good basic pedigree match. It's outcrossed on Sireland. This is the Nova Victory or Volumite line up here, and mm -hmm. Metaskipper line down here. So it's outcrossed on Sireland and inbred maternally. But yes. what's also good about this one, too, is, if I recall, is that this mare has both Helen Hanover and Margaret Parrish. Right. Down by the seaside also has both Helen Hanover and Margaret Parrish maternally. Wow, wow, okay. So that's a powerhouse filly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's jam-packed, jam -packed, isn't it? From an X-factor standpoint, you can't get it any better than that. Yeah. So you have a so. good basic um, pedigree match with a superb combination maternally. And you get a 151 and two filly. Mm. So you get what's the end result? And that's on a five eighths track. Like yeah. that's like a uh, 148 and three and a mile mm. track. Mm. And it's a two year old mm. record. And generally they go two seconds faster than that uh, mm. at three. So yeah. that filly could go in 56 or, or 46 as a three year old. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, there's some, there, so. hey, just a quick question, Norm, while I've got you. With, with Colder Image, can you have a look at who she's gone to in the past to see how it may have not gone right for her? Because um, she's an older mare and it is a bit of a risk that uh, I, I do breed from her. I have got the opportunity, so it's, um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. But she has had a few foals. Um, I just wanted to know on, on where they've gone previously, ha, have they maybe, have, have, is there any, anything that uh, you would say, oh, that's probably well, a wasted we, opportunity? Well, we we'll look at this one. We, got the Gan we saw the Ganymede one. And we saw that uh, it's, a, it's a speech to lion and it's an inbred speechster. So it's got that TV pattern. So that's, that was a good choice on that basis alone. The speech the side, yes. Uh, there's also yep. a Kathleen connection across the pedigree, but it's, this isn't cold, so. Oh, no, this That's the, is, it's getting cold, is it a filly? It's a cold, it's a filly, okay. No, it's filly, filly. So she has a Kathleen double across the pedigree. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a plus of some sort, but, but it's not a major one, but it certainly helps. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, the uh, maternally across the pedigree, there's, there's really nothing in here. Uh, this is Javari and this is uh, Fuchsia Line. So there's no, and this is Axworthy up here in Ogaden, and this is another French line. So there's no material connection to the North America maternally here, other than this remote Kathleen uh, connection way down. So that's the problem when you're, but when you're dealing with French uh, pedigrees. Fortunately, he does have some uh, 
uh, North American bloodlines in the right in the right places. Yeah. Up here. Speak to you. Up the top. Yeah. Okay, so Smashing Calder is by Lucky Chucky. What's he, what's he like in America, Lucky Chucky? Not not much chop. No, not much. Uh, the problem with this one is, of course. Well, it's line bread and noble victory, but it's it's a long ways back, so it's not bad. Mm -hmm. it's, it, mm -hmm. it, but I, regardless, I just do not like line breeding this way. I know right. it, it, it's relatively remote in this particular situation, but if, if I have an option on a mare like this to breed to a speedster line when it's inbred to speedster, that's certainly the way I would go. Gotcha. You got to you got to trot her out of it. Um, there's a there's a speedy crown, speedy crown, star spride, star spride here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no star spride maternally here, but you get a couple of speedster lines, and a couple of speedster lines here. So there's somewhat of a connection maternally. This 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 little horse, he 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 died. This horse, he he was he went okay as a young horse, but uh, yeah, lucky Chucky hasn't set the world on fire in Australia either. Not much. Oh and there's a Kathleen connection here. This is a this is a cult though, so the X factor doesn't come into play here for him. Mm -hmm. The next one, just the horse, just. Well, here's a it's just speedy crown line, so it does have the same speed strip. Speedy crown pattern in it. Um, and it has an oval victory. Speedy crown, speedy crown. Actually, I don't know. It's uh, not a whole lot wrong with the, the, with the choice of sire, other than the fact that maybe, maybe he wasn't that great of a sire. I don't know. No, I, I didn't. I, I don't know anything out of this horse. Great success. Well, great not, success. Not. Let's see what he did have. Mm. There's, um, he only had three good ones. Oh, well, not in North America, in, in US dollars, there's no, there's no 100,000. 100, mm. And if you do the profiles on them, actually, actually there are a couple out of Balanced Image Sons, another one down here. So that's Sire Line, and there's one that's Balanced Image uh, with them. Um, it's in red to the speedster line. I don't know, moniker, yeah, monarchy there. So it's, yeah. it's, uh, there is a little bit of not much, not much, but not much. Yeah, not much. Yeah, no, nothing to write home about. Um, so we definitely need to be leaning towards that speedster. Well, the method thing was just. <laughs> that was a, that was a, a needle in a haystack, and they kept trying. They tried many times with Metropolitan. You want to get this it, one? You know, want to get it once. It's That's it. <laughs> once only. You cannot duplicate those sorts of things. What was that? Sorry, on that last part, you said I missed that. Sorry again. You can't duplicate those kind of pedigrees. No. So there's, no, there's no possibility. It's just a totally yeah. freaky thing. Again, you get this uh, majestic son is the lion bread situation. But Too he, far back. He is. I'm stately is uh, is a pacing bread here and mm. I guess I don't know what the I guess the combination actually this adding this particular, I don't know I'm, this particular horse this particular horse as a race horse was a was a very good young horse in Australia um, so he's a colonial bred. Um, progeny wise, I don't think he's got anything to, to ride home about. But as, as a racehorse, he, he, he trotted well for a young horse. Yeah, well, you can see, uh, I'm certainly was a Volamite lion, sire. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's the Volamite lion here. Yes. And here's the Volamite lion here. So he's TB to Volamite. Mm -hmm. And nothing much else across the pedigree. Have you got you got an Arnie Almahurst connection here, mm -hmm. and no Speedy Crown whatsoever, no Super. No. So 
what made this thing work likely was this Bolomite sire line and to a mare that's inbred to the Bolomite line. So, mm. or the Peter mm. Bolomite in that instance. So, um, again, um, probably not the best of choices there. No, 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 no. Um, so I'm just trying to trying to see. So one one other quick one. Go, go over your list uh, of sires available to you, and just to, and concentrate on the speech to line sires that have uh, a somewhat closer connection to Speedy Crown along the sire line. Yep. And um, just uh, there's probably you're more familiar with them than I am. Just mm -hmm. go through the book and run uh, and and. and uh, pick out the ones that have had some success because you mm -hmm. don't have to have a great horse to produce a great horse. Yeah. A great sire to have produce a great horse. I mean, every sire can have produce a good one or mm -hmm. a very good one if it's um, if it's given given the right opportunity. So mm -hmm. uh, I really believe that. I think because uh, there's all kinds of these horses pop out of the woodwork, mm -hmm. well, not all kinds, but enough of them to justify. Mm -hmm. Uh, saying that, that uh, you can't write off a sire just like that. You give him a chance. You give him the, give him the right mare. Let's, I'll, 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 uh, I'll go a big deal with Speedy Crown Speedster. They're, they're the two that I need to be worried about their norm. Speedy yeah, yeah, Crown Speedster. That along the, uh, in the first six uh, generations. Generation. Along the top sire line, yeah. Along the top sire line. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Now, that... um, I don't know. Hold on a second here. No, I don't have any in the, the database. Oh wow! Okay. Mm -hmm. Only on the North mm -hmm. American ones. I mean, you can you can put add them in yourself, and then you for your own purposes. But, Got it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, you can also just type them in and bring them up, and and, and have a bit of a look. Yeah, no, that's good. All right, well, that gives me something to go off. Speedy Crown, Speedy Crown. Let me see. Let me see here. What else we can look at here? Um, I knew Australia and New Zealand origin. Um, gain equals trotter. And date of birth, I want to get the recent ones greater than 2010. Mm -hmm. That'll give me a relatively short list of the best trotters that you've had in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then you can look down the sire lines and uh, the sires that are, are responsible for them. And then uh, that'll give you a list of the sires to look at. Like here, you can sort them by sire, obviously. And you want to get the ones that yeah, price money. <laughs> um, I guess we can't do that. I could have, I could have put um, uh, greater than one dollar. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. But, uh, and then you'd, at least you find the ones that have actually made it to the races. But price money, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can see that uh, there's a love you there. Sun done, down under muscles. That's a speedster line. It's uh, wobbly. It's got pacing red here. Yeah, it has, yeah. Yeah, it's got the speedy crown connection here, but it's not a it's not inbred to speedy crown, but it's bit of everything mm -hmm. in. I mean, 
It's the top and bottom. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's but it's no, it's not a TV because there's not another speedster line in here. It's just a mixed up thing. And just right. come out of nowhere. <laughs> that may that may produce a lot of good souls. That Fiona's flair, the, yeah. the uh, mother of that. She was she was good. Here, company bit. You mean? Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Fiona Slayer, the mother of Down, Down Under Muscle. She's a good, she's a good Australian producer. But it's yeah, she did have quite a few. Yeah, she she done a good job. So that was that one. Who else was on that list that you had there? So you had Wobbly, Majestic uh, Sun. Of course, it's Muscle Hill. There's Sundown. He's pretty much done now. Yeah, yeah. And I love you is the right star line. Um, who are these doing? Let's see the Mon Bet one here. See what that's out of. It's an iron don, iron don. Nova victory. Cool right line there. Star Spide line here, Star Spide line there, Speedster mm -hmm. line, Speedster line. So that's a double double pedigree. Mm. Two Speedster lines, Volumite line, and a Worthy Bar line. That's what you got here, Speedster. Speedster, Volumite, Worthy Boy. Yeah, okay. So that's a double double pedigree. Yeah, and no wonder it was good. That's the other good pedigree that you're looking for. So, and that's the best one out of it. I love you. Um, there's other ones down here. Avivian. I did all the mares for Yabby Dan for a couple of years in a row. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of them. He had over 100 mares at one time, and I, I went through them and told him to get rid of about two thirds of them. Mm. He did get rid of most of them, and he went and out and bought a whole bunch more to replace them. But at least he knew which okay. one to buy. He's having a bit of success now. Spends a lot of money. Yeah, spends, spends a lot. A lot. Of money. Uh, I don't know if he's making any money yet, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's still not getting it quite right. I went through his uh, his stock in the nutrient sale there. Yes, yes. And two or three nice ones, but for the most part, he's still not got quite the, got the right there. The mix not right, you reckon, there, Norman? In fact, I I don't pick his uh, pick him. I just showed him how to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did a, you know, recommendations for all of the mares that he, I told uh, told him to keep, and uh, a couple of them turned out pretty good. So I don't. Oh, uh, good. But, uh, yeah. but he's doing his own thing now. He's got quite an operation going there. He's got a mm. pedigree yeah. that doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. But other than that, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, a Vivienta. Similar kind of a situation here, the volumite, speedster, speedster, double volumite. Uh, that's a speedster, speedster, volumite, and worthy boy, which is volumite back one step from there. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again, it's a double double pedigree for, for love you. Mm. But yours doesn't doesn't fit that because it's got that direct line in there that kind of screws you up. Yeah. Anyway, Pegasus Spur, he's a, uh, he's not, I don't know if he's still standing. Old standing if he is. But he's a uh, star sprite line. And you can see that he had the Hickory Pride. And he's, uh, this is a, a TB, the star sprite here. Okay, yeah, I can see that, yes. And got a, yeah. he's got double and a Hickory Pride double, so that mm. got a lot of going for it, that particular. Yeah, yeah, that worked. That's Great something worked, isn't it? Up here is. Uh, uh, he's a he's a stallion. This horse now. It's his first season as a stallion. This one. Who pegs the spur? Yeah. No, oh, he's been around so, for a while. Oh, okay, sorry, maybe. Well, I'm, oh, I'm, 2011. This one. Speeding spur. Okay, I, I think he's I a. Oh, Speeding Spur is standing? Did you yeah, say? Speeding Spur is standing, standing yeah. No. 
Nikri smoke, Nikri pride, they're, full, they're half brothers. Okay. Did he crown? Did he crown? Yeah. Nikri smoke. Yeah, he's too. Okay. They've had good, good maternal connections. This Hickory Pride is here, and there's Red Star Pride. And Star Pride now is not quite the same, but it's just a lot of good maternal combinations there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what other else has we got here? Muscle Hill, Muscle Jackie, Majestic Sun again, is Noble Victory Line. And Angus Hall is Noble Victory Line. There's a Bacardi Lindy. Well, he's a Star Sprite line as well. Not very many, are there? No, no. Sky Valley is, that's a speed he, he, He's speed he, he's, he's an Australian bred horse. That's, um, yeah, muscles. Um, muscles Yankee. Um, that's some odd material here, but he doubles mm. right across there. That's good, Speedy Scott. I mean, not very many Speedy, it might be in his muscle mass. He seems to mix well with the uh, balanced image mares, but the muscles mass. Well, he does well with the normal vitreal line mares generally. Yeah. Uh, he is, of course, by Muscles Yankee, and uh, Muscles Yankee is Noble Victory is, is a second dam. So that's why they get that connection. This, of course, mm -hmm. is just one of those weird ones again. Yeah, how does it happen? How well, does it happen? Safety is <laughs> kept for some Jewel. reason. It's, it's one of the better trotting broodmare stars. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And, and he's, a, he's a jewel, isn't he? He's a pacing and a trotting. <laughs> and he has no trotting blood whatsoever. You know? and yeah. He, 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 Pops up every now and then, safely kept that trotting, trotting mares. Yeah, the prez is no victory line, no victory line. Just another quick question while I've got you, Norm. I noticed that, um, that the balanced image went better with, say, Muscles Mass, Muscles Yankee, but not with Muscles Hill. Balanced image with Muscle Hill? Not, I, so, not so good. I don't know. Again, that's a factor of stallion, the people who are standing the stallions, the choices of the, uh, the mares. Yeah, that's a good point, good point. They probably didn't get a whole lot of good ones, maybe two or three of the very best. Yeah, good point, yeah. In comparison to say muscles mass, where we went a bit better with muscles mass. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. See, here we have some, um, there were no, no good ones. No, no hundred thousand dollar ones. There's one there, balance the page. See, there's very few in North America. There was some in Sweden, one in, well, here. Okay. So the best one here, mm -hmm. Muscle Hill, is a, an inbred speech to right there. Same thing, yeah. looking for mm -hmm. it. Yeah, speed so connection, Nova Victory connection, yeah. it's a double double and a TB. Yeah, that, that, that didn't produce much. Oh well, no. 68. Not much. That. Not much, yeah. Just, just paid its way, just. It barely paid its way. Mm. So there wasn't much there, but. Uh, um, Whereas Muscle Mass or Muscle mass. Yankee seem to be better. Now here you got a twenty-two percent. Yeah, much, much, much better um, result. Um, and you can breed them in there, can't you? Uh, muscle mass. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't believe so. I, I don't know. I can inquire. So, so the ones that I noticed, Norman, was Kadabra. He, he was way up there, but you said his percentages are very low. Uh, Kadabra. He's gone. Yeah. Not available anymore. 
Okay, so that primrose line isn't available. There's Riveting Rosie. She was uh, kind of a weirdo too. And now it's, there's a speedster line there, speedster Nova Victory. That's a yeah, line, it's speedster yeah. Nova Victory. Another speedster, another speedster. And another Nova Victory. So I guess, you know, it's, <coughs> it's not inbred to speedster, but it's inbred to Nova Victory. So. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's it was a balanced image line. Mm. We can uh, just look at the profile of them. Here's one here that's inbred to Speedster. Other one here with the Dream of Glory, Mass Balance. Mm. Where, where is that colder image? She's got Dream of Glory in her pedigree. Yeah. She's got that yeah. Dream of Glory. Here's one. So I, I would think if you can get muscle mass, that would be. <clears throat> See, the speedy crown is still on the page here. Mm -hmm. This is inbred triple. This you're inbred to speedster. You're just the same way. <clears throat> so I would say if you can get to muscle mass, let's see. I'm sure he's breeding in. There. Got all kinds of them. New Zealand will find them here. I think he's New Zealand based this one, so he'd be frozen semen. He has been uh, he has been shipping back and forward. Okay. <clears throat> so his percentages are not that great here, and six percent. Overall, mm -hmm. yeah, but then you go for lower purses, and uh, so you're probably, you know, when I look at the Australian ones, I kind of say, well, 50,000 <laughs> is probably closer to a break even, and it's certainly not a break even in North America, but a hundred thousand dollars is. But <clears throat> the, the breeders always come back to me and say, well, your, your, your bar is too high. We think mm. we a pretty good one if we make 50,000, so. Mm. Mm. It's like, you know, the Aussies, Aussies like going to the race and having fun that way. They're, they're, they're yeah. a bit different than the American where you, you've got to pay your way. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I've been there. I've, I've, I've done the race <laughs> in Melbourne. We, just, we like to have a night out of the truck. We're happy. I was horse and wind. in Melbourne it's on a Friday night. It was a huge crowd. At whereabouts? Melton? Or was it uh, at Melbourne. San Mooney? No. Uh, Mooney? Mooney Valley? Mooney Valley, yeah. Oh, Mooney Valley, that it, was great. It was the week before the Inner Dominion. Oh, great. So I missed it, but I, um, but there were some good races on. Uh, but most of the betting was done by the bookie. I, it was amazing to go down to the bookie floor and watch that. It would have, would have been a beehive. We were, we, we, we were upstairs in the dining room. Uh, mm -hmm. Friends uh, invited me to go to Australia. And I, I was at the sale. The Melbourne sale mm. I had a set up there to demonstrate my initial version of pedigree. Oh. It was back mm. in 2000, 2001. And uh, I was good friends with Mick Lombardo at the time. Oh, wow, wait. And Mick and I did business a lot for a number of years. Mm. And Mick, and so I met Mick at the sale the first time I'd met him. Um, he actually came to Prince Edward Island. Oh, wow. Uh, because he had a friend, a former shipmate, uh, who lived on Prince Edward Island and uh, small world. was the uncle of my neighbor up at the end of the lake. Oh, how small world is it? <laughs> and it's really small. Anyway, we went, to, we went to the dinner and uh, everybody was dressed up to the nines, mm. which is not what you see at North American tracks for the most part. We, we dressed I, decent, but I mean... Not, yeah. not to the extent that the girls were yeah. in the it's a day out. It, it's a night out. A night out, as you say, it's the entertainment value. <laughs> and nobody seemed to be betting. I mean, there, there was far mutual windows, but there weren't too many people using them. Yeah. Uh, and we were sitting with a chap who had a horse that was racing that night. Mm. And there was still a maiden. <laughs> it had about four or five starts. <laughs> And he was so excited because the trainer said, 
he thought it can it can run a place. He thought he could place. <laughs> Which I it, heard it, yeah. first for second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that in one in one of your podcasts. I laughed when you said it on your podcast. If it can place, he was over the moon. Yeah, he was. He was just so excited. Unfortunately, he didn't place. <laughs> he went from yeah, I don't yeah. Know, very quickly. I had to carry yeah. him home. But he'd be back the next week, just as positive. As trying that. to trying again, just. just Trying again, yeah. So this muscle muscle mass seems seems to go okay with, with this. So he, he could be an option because he's got that um, he's got the speedy crown. Although a fair way back, he would still be okay. You think there, Norman? Yeah, I would say. We we'll just look at the pedigree here. Just have a look mm -hmm. at it. Well, that's it. It's getting colder. We want colder image. Yes, please. So I have the 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 TV pattern, speedster TV pattern. You have a noble victory. And a mm. three speed, speedy crown on speedster lines. You can know a victory in a couple of speed, speedster lines that are doubled up. So that's there's a lot, a lot of pluses in here. Look at the codes. If you happen to get a Philly, this is, should be a cracker. Uh, Margaret Parish, Margaret Parish. Mm. Mm. That's, a, what, that's what I want. I want a Philly. I want a Philly. But if you get a fellow, you got to breathe on the right side of the moon. You realize that. Mm. Go again. Sorry. Run that by me again. <laughs> That's what they say yeah. around here. Yeah. You, yeah. you got you to wait till the, the day after the full moon to breathe. Oh, okay. I'll keep, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> on the right side of the moon, as they say. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So that, that's a good mix. That's a good mix. Go again. Sorry. I don't know if there's any truth to it, but the old fellas. No, nah. old wives' tale. <laughs> That's a good mix. That's a good mix there, Norman. Yeah. It seems to work. I think excellent, yeah. Yeah. So in order, you would say, without me looking at other stallions, in order, you would say this one first, classic connection second. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to look any further than that. Those two are other two. Yeah, got you. I, I like this muscle mass. I don't know if I can get him because I don't know if he, if he, if I can get the semen into Australia. Um, but I, I do like this muscle's mass. Yeah, you know, if you've got a friend, you can send the mare to over in New Zealand. Yeah, true. That's a good point. That's an expensive That's proposition, I guess. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it, it is expensive. And Norman, I've only got this opportunity with this old mare, colder image. She's an old mare. This might be one. We might get one crack at her. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things that I've got to weigh out. Do I do frozen or do I do fresh semen where she more likely getting foal? They're, they're the things that I need to weigh out. But I, I do like this mix. I do like this muscle mass. Yeah, well, the frozen semen is pretty dependable now. Is it like a lot better than previous? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I mean, it's just a matter of timing. Uh, yeah. You just got to bring the mare in your, uh, and get it when you when you want it. Yep. And, uh, otherwise, you're breeding it for five or six days in a row. But yeah. You, you want to, you know, give her a hot shot. They call it over here to get her cycling strong. Yeah. And then you know, once you give it, you're you're, you're going to get your best chance. Yeah. Forty eight yeah. hours later, and you still yeah. have to straddle that with the with the, with, with the semen. Uh, see, they're getting cheap now in frozen semen. They send you only one or two straws. So. Yeah, of course. A lot for it. Yeah, of course. It's more difficult, but yeah. All right. Well, I, I like this muscle mass. Like I said, muscle mass and muscles Yankee went better than muscles Hill. Muscles Hill, like you've seen, did nothing. I maybe not the right mares to him, but uh, well, didn't get, do much. You get the muscle Hill, and, and 
he does have a very specific uh, Mixed, yeah. maternal line. He's, he, he's, he's line bred to star sprite maternally, which throws right. a, a little different look at it. And yeah, then this one here. I find that um, the mares that he's breeding to are, they still have that in breeding to speed strip, but they also have a, a, a star sprite or Super Bowl line in the mix down here too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good, Norman. Very, very good. I, I, I could, I could speak to you all day, but so I know you would have things to do, and I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm so grateful that I'm so supper grateful for this. Supper time here right now, so yeah, yeah, I won't let you be late for supper. We don't have that happening. No, very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, I will be in touch once once my renewal runs out. Once my free renewal runs out, I'll definitely be getting the full steam one. I'm looking forward to. Um, signing up for that one. I've got another friend who's going to be in touch with you soon. Um, his name's Matthew Martin. So he's going to uh, he's going to be in touch. He wants to do something similar to what I've done today. So he's he's in the pacing side. So expect an email from um, from Matthew Martin. I'll I'll send him your details. Yep. Um, and I will also get that um, Queen of Queens. So I, I've just got to subscribe to that one to get that Queen of Queens yeah, information. The book is available and download from the website. Perfect. Thank you so much, Norman. I will be in touch. I appreciate your time. I'll send you this recording when I get it. Yeah. Thank you. One quick one. What? One other quick one. Do you, do you still do your podcast? I really enjoyed your two hour, one and a half hour podcast that you done last season. Um, I, you haven't done one for a little while with your, your local um, breeders in America. I, I, I listen to every, every one of those twice. I was just so enthralled well, by probably, the information. Yeah, what I've been doing is trying to get this this uh, new program finalized. It's, it's gone through a number of iterations, and now we finally got it the way I right. want it. And uh, so now I can uh, get uh, free up your time on a regular basis to doing. Uh, and of course, the sales are coming up, and everybody wants to have a look at every sale and the yearlings that are in it and so forth. So we'll be doing a series on the sales. Uh, mm -hmm. as a series on on uh, uh, on how to do the uh, how to use the program to best uh, advantage and Excellent. so uh, I'll get at that uh, we're in the midsummer here and I'm doing a lot of cottage time right now but okay <laughs> I, the extent that I can get at it and I'll, yeah. I'll do some of, uh, some of this stuff in the next month or so Excellent. So Thanks again, Norman. You're very welcome. And I'll send you. Take care. I'll put this. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll put this on YouTube and send you the link to it. Perfect. I appreciate I'll be it. Able to send you the recording. I don't know if it'll take it, but uh, because of the size, but uh, YouTube will be fine. Yeah. Okay. YouTube will be. Fine. Thank you, Norman. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.